Hi, welcome to new project video. This is the project using which the user can play the Tekken game by using the physical body movements. You see how interesting is it? Particularly in this video, I am also going to explain you how you can make such projects by yourself. So after this video, you would have clear understanding of how you can make such projects by yourself and just embed more logics since currently the player can just punch and defend these are the two operations which can be per currently performed but i am pretty much sure that after the explanation part of this video you would be able to implement some more logics like moving forward backward jumping or crouching or so on so are you interested in this if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to this channel for more such awesome project videos. One more thing, if you want the code of this project, it will be in down description github link. You can access it from there and if you want to know how to run this project or game in, the, in your PC, then that is also I am going to explain in, the, in this video only. So you just wait and enjoy, I, everything will be so much fun, I assure you. So let's see how we can build that project. So first of all, we are importing these libraries, MediaPy for detecting the pose, NumPy for working with arrays, CV2 for reading from the webcam and PyAutoGI for pressing the keys. You'll see why we need that. So first of all, we are making a video capture object of this. We are just initializing some MediaPy solution. For example, pose and OBJ is the object of this pose class and we are using this drawing from uh, drawing utils for drawing the key points or landmark positions on our body you will see why we are using these boolean variables until then just wait so over here we are just running a two loop and reading from that cap which we have created of this video capture class object now this frame we are processing this frame by using the object which we have this class object which is pose class object obj so we are saying obj dot process and we are passing this frame but after converting it to rgb since after processing or making the prediction from that frame we are getting the list of all the landmark position or pose landmark positions in this result variable and after that we are drawing so that user can see on the screen what is happening now over here we are checking if media pipe is able to detect something able to detect the pose in the frame then we are checking by using this if result dot pose landmark it will be a list if this is empty then we are not going to enter in this if it is not not empty we are going to enter in this other than that we are also checking if the 16th landmark position has the visibility greater than 70 percent let's see what this 16th landmark position is so over here you see that this is the 16th landmark position which we are checking if it's in the frame or not why we are checking you will see why we need that this all of this is the main logic of the code so we are checking if the user in the frame and the 16th landmark position is in the frame then we are calculating the distance between the 16th and the 12th landmark position for what for the punching operation so now i'll explain you why we are doing that so you see that this is the 16th landmark position and this is the 12th landmark position right and this is my x axis and that is my y axis now what i am doing i am calculating the distance between these both two landmark positions so that's why i was checking if this is already in the frame or not if it is not in the frame then we don't need to actually calculate the distance between the 16th and 12th key point obviously so we are checking we are uh, taking the x position of the 16th and x position of this 12th key point and over here you see that we are doing the absolute meaning we are making it positive if it is negative this will become positive so we are uh, actually calculating the distance of the 16th key point and the 12th key point and we are multiplying it by 640 since uh, media web detects the returns the value scale between 0 to 1 so we have to scale it up to work with it since the open cv is 640 by 480 frame this frame is 640 by 480 so we are multiplying it by 640 we just need to scale it up from 0 to 1 right now since we have the difference in the x variable which is the difference between the x value of 16th and the x value of 12th we have this in x and we are checking if the distance between the 12th and the 16th key point is greater than 100 meaning if my if i am taking my hand outside away from a body if i'm taking my hand away from the body then i want to perform the punch operation of course i want to perform the punch operation so for punching operation i want to press the p key since when i press the p key in the game the character punch 
perform the punch operation right so i want some way to press the key so that's why we are importing this pi auto gi over here and initially the p down is to check if the p is already down or not since already the p is not down so we are saying over there if the distance is greater than 110 pixel and p is not already pressed i am saying pi auto gi dot key down which key p key and set p down to true that's it very simple since the p is now pressed down and now when i take my hand back this will get to the else part and if the p is down then make the p up by saying pi auto gi dot key up that's it so simple and straightforward and after that for the defending operation i want to press the d key since when i press the d key the character or the player defend itself right so it's very easy once again i'll just clear this up so this time what i want to do over here let's first see the code so what i'm saying that if the 16th landmark position of that y value again i am scaling from 0 to 640 if the 16th key point value is less than 10th key point value remember i am working with the y so this is my y axis y and i am saying if the 16th and the 10th which is over here i am saying if this 16th is less than meaning if it is above this 10 meaning if my hand goes above my head then i want to perform the defend operation so this is just simple line of code i am checking over here using the if statement if that happens then I want to press the D key with the same logic. If D is not already pressed, press the D key down and turn that D down to true. If my hand goes below my head, I don't want to perform the defend operation. So it goes in else part and check if D is down, make the D key up and set the flag variable to false. That's it. Very simple and straightforward. So you see this performing these two operations we are just requiring few lines of code about 20 or so and after that we are just uh, flipping the frame so that it, it we are not getting the mirror look and we are showing frame to the user and when the when the user presses the escape key i'll not need this when the user presses the escape key then all the windows are destroyed and i will release the camera resource similarly if you want to perform the couch operation what would you do just take this 24th key point 28th key point calculate the y distance between both of them if this gets smaller than some particular threshold value which you have to perform trial and error or just write some other script for that then if you get the threshold value if it is less than that then perform the operation otherwise don't perform that if you want to perform the jump operation you you can have multiple options for that you just take the zeroth key point if it is above some value then jump otherwise don't jump and similarly for pressing pressing the keys you can use this logic to press the key using key down and key up and everything will run so smooth and straightforward now the question comes how to integrate it with the game and your python script so you see we are pressing the keys so now to play the game you need to have some way of installing the nes or emulator use the emulator to play the nes roms in your pc so i am using fce ux program and i just open the program so you see this is the game in front of you and i'll turn the volume down all right so now you see that this is the game and in this in the game if i press the p key then the user press the punch and if i press d key then the user defend the player defend p to punch and d to defend now i will keep this game running in the background and i will run this script now to run this script just wherever your file is located open the terminal in the same directory and to run this script you have to say python the name of the file which is taken.py now this will run like this and now what you have to do make this window active by just clicking on this window and now go in front of the camera and perform what operations we are performing like for defending and for punching get in front of camera do that stuff and those keys will going to directly be transferred over here and the game will going to be played by you so i hope you'll be able to understand what i wanted to convey to you by using this video you see how easy is it to make this type of projects uh, when i just upload these videos on applications such as reddit or linkedin people just ask you people just ask like how are you able to make this program so you see that how easy is it to make this program the biggest the hardest part is to think of making such program 
and when you just get an idea just things keep on going on you just have to make some build some logic and just few lines of code and you are there so i will leave this video over here and if you have any queries then in order to play this game in your pc then you may ask in down comment section i will answer you over there or you can contact me from the given links in below description so i leave this video over here till then keep coding and goodbye